Good morning, staff of River Oaks. Today we're going to be talking about how we sign into the cloud, um, how to start a Google document, which will be in your Google Drive, as well as how to share that document with other staff, how to comment on a document, and then a quick assignment that we were hoping everyone could get done by the second division meeting, just to develop our own familiarity with the program. So when we're going on the Halton Cloud, the very first thing we need to do is we need to sign into the cloud. So you can search cloud hdsb.ca or you can search Halt and Cloud up in the Omnibox. Now it's going to ask for your username, so that's whatever you would use to sign into your computer on the board, any board computer. So if you're in a library or whatever, as long as it was at the board. So I know mine is Steltman C, and then my password. And you press login. That's going to take you right into the Halt and Cloud, we can see right here. Now, this is called your Google Drive, and this is where all your files and folders and things can be stored. And this is really just a landing place and somewhere to keep all of your stuff. You can share things, create things, do all your things right in here. So the very first thing we're going to be talking about that we want our students to become familiar with is how to create a document, because our first TLCP is going to be on retail. So we're hoping to integrate some of our retail stuff with our... Google Docs and our Halt and Cloud. So for students to sign into the cloud, they use their username and their chat name and their chat password to get in. So when we are in the drive, we hit create, then we can hit document, and this will create a document. Just like WordPerfect or Apple Works or whatever it is that you use at home, it's kind of the same. It doesn't have all the same features, but it has most of them. I have something called Read and Write, which helps for kids with special needs, which is something we could talk about another time. So I'm just going to let that run on my program, but we don't need that right now. So now we're in our drive, and so our big thing that we want to do is we want to just type. So we'll just call it our uh, quick get to know you sharing familiarity thing. Um, so now we can see that we can type on there just like everything else and up here in the top left is where you're going to give it a title. So up here you can give it a title and we'll say it's our it's going to be the Steltman bio because that's what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a quick bio about myself and I'll pause while I write it and then I will play and I'll show you how to share. All right, so here is my quick bio about myself. Um, so we can see that I've just put the information in here. And now what we're going to do is we want to share it. So to share it, you go up to the top right corner and you just click share. It's as easy as that. And the really cool thing about sharing is it's going to know everybody from HDSB. Like you can just start typing people's names. So I'm going to start typing in Mike Rook. And I can see them. Mike Book of Cam is right there, so I can copy it to him, and I'll give it to Raquel as well. Raquel, Ben, and there her name pops up, just press enter. And they're both going to have editing privileges, so that they could fix it, and I'm going to add a quick message to them. Here is the link to my bio. I will attach, I will send the link to the video as well. Right, so I'm going to share that with them, so we can see that down here it says share, it's that green button that you can't quite see. So I'm going to share that, they're going to have a copy of this, they can edit it, they can get any comments, they can do whatever they need to do. I'm just going to do share. Now I can see that they're on here. If I don't want them to be able to edit it, maybe I'm not sure what Mike will do with it, I can just make it so he can view on it or he can comment only. So I'm going to leave it that they can edit, but I'm going to show you the commenting feature right now. So the comment feature is this. You can just write comments on people's work. So let's say they were like, I don't really like to use fourth year teacher. Maybe they want me to say something else. You can highlight, right click, click comment, and change to year four teacher. And you can add comments to students' work. I have it so it can, and you can have it so it notifies you. But they will see this, and anytime they can say, oh, good, awesome. And let's say I fix this, and I change it to, I, did, I listened to what they said. I said, a uh, year for teacher. Oh, I've done what they've asked. 
I've resolved their issue and the comment disappears. So that's something really, really neat about comments. And yeah, those are the first three things. So we're all going to try to get a quick bio, share it with someone on staff. If you want to share it with me, feel free, no problem. Send it to me, or and we're going to combine them all, and this way we can go over them, and if anybody has any questions or any ideas, feel free to jot down at the bottom of your bio any questions, comments, ideas, or great lesson. Anything that you have that you think would go really well with this for either our TLCP or for any other ideas. Hope this is helpful. All right.